Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. Sorry that I didn't do a video sooner. I just, I want to wish you guys a happy 4th of July and hope you guys had a, are having a good 4th of July because this isn't re-review I'm doing as a 4th of July special, just so you guys know. Because I know this album came out in 2018 of April 6th. So this is for 30 Seconds to Mars's fifth studio album america because of the title um because they released the first single for this i think it was in july or august it was somewhere around then but basically i just want to go into what i thought of this whole 12 track album america and give you my take on it as of in 2023 so let's dive right into this re-review now pretty much um, when I reviewed it, I thought it was decent at the time, but now I might have a different take on it, just so you guys know. Um, Walk on Water was the first single. Sorry about the background noise. My mom's watching Harry Potter. Um, Walk on Water, first single. Um, I think what they were trying to go with that track was something political. And yeah, it had a little diversity at the time, because... That's what they wanted to talk about with this track. Um, like, the track was hit or miss, but I personally think it was a really good track, in my opinion. I mean, yeah, political-wise, eh, I have my critiques about that. Because I don't like bringing up politics for my channel anymore. But this song pretty much talked about President Donald Trump. That's all I can tell you. Because... That's what the message was behind the track. Um, there are also other things it was talking about politically. Um, but mostly when I thought of the track, what I personally viewed it as, I thought it was talking about our ex-president Donald Trump. Because that's how I viewed it at the time. But I don't want to bring up politics in that matter because it just divides people, just so you know. So... Pretty much 5 out of 5 for Walk on Water. I think it's a good track. A really good track. But yeah, there is some experimentation with this song. So Dangerous Night is a solid track. I wouldn't say it's my favorite one. It came out months after Walk on Water did. But I think it's a good track in its own way. Just some production mixes that don't sound very good in my opinion. I mean, they're fine, but... There's some tweaks in this song that I don't know if I feel for. And some of Jared Leto's singing in the pre-chorus is okay. But the track did perform alright. 4.5 out of 5. Rescue Me is a pretty good track in my opinion. I mean, yeah, there's some production issues with this song a little bit. But I think with what they were trying to go for with this track, it did pretty well. So 5 out of 5 for this one. One track mine, which I'm going to talk about the ASAP Rocky version of it. Because um, ASAP Rocky is featured in the, I guess, digital release for it. I got the album itself. So this album, um, pretty much, yeah. Um, as you can see in the back for One Track Mind, it doesn't have a feature. Which the Love is Madness does have a feature for the CD version. Which I was really disappointed with the CD version for One Track Mind. Um, I wouldn't say it was great. And even the digital version was probably better than the uh, CD version for One Track Mind. So 4.5 out of 5. Even for One Track Mind with ASAP Rocky, I think it was better than the CD version. If I were to give the CD version an actual score, I'd give it a 3.5 out of 5. Because I think it was average, but not great. Monolith is a solid one. It's like an uh, interlude going into the Love is Madness song. So I'd give that a 4.5 out of 5. It's not really much of a song, but it's something. Uh, Love is Madness is the one it continues where Monolith leaves off. And then it continues to Love is Madness. And it features Halsey in it. I think it's a solid track. I mean, some production issues. Uh, with the electronic work in this track, but I think mixing wise it was hit or miss 4.5 out of 5 
Great Wide Open is a solid track. Um, I mean, certain sections in the track did all right. And sorry about the background noise. My sister's talking right now uh, to my mom real quick. Um, Great Wide Open, solid track. I mean, message behind it sounded pretty interesting. And a lot of choir vocals in this song, which didn't sound so bad. And the mixing for this song was pretty all right. So 4.5 out of 5. Hail to the Victor is a pretty bad song. Um, I mean, there are some sections I like with the verses, but then when the chorus drops and the bass line and all that electronic work, it was crap. So pretty much give me one second, gotta pause the video. I am sorry for pausing the video, guys. My mom was calling me for a moment. Um, basically, Hail to the Victor was a bad song, so... I was really disappointed with this one. I mean, the verses were fine, but it just, this song was a miss. So, two out of five for Hail to the Victor. Dawn Will Rise is a decent song. I mean, the mixing is not very good, but it's something. So, four out of five. I mean, vocally, it was eh. Um, but four out of five for this song. I mean, with what they were trying to do with this track, it did okay. But it had some decent moments. The song overall performance-wise was decent in my opinion. Remedy is a pretty good song. Shannon Leto is singing in this track with the acoustic guitar. And it sounds pretty good. So I'm really digging this song pretty much. So 5 out of 5. Then comes Live Like a Dream. One of my favorite songs close to the end of the album. Which I wish this would have been... I wish they would have had a better closing track. Which I will talk about that closing track in a moment. Um, Live Like a Dream is a really good song. I like how the song makes me feel. Like it makes me want to just go outside. Go on a little venture. And just like get lost with this song. Uh, and outside and all that. Because that's like skydiving kind of stuff and all that. So pretty interesting song to do. To like do some outdoor activity with. So, 5 out of 5. Um, Rider is okay. I wouldn't say it's great in any way. But I was really torn with this track. With how it sounded. Because um, the outro to the song is not very good. That I can tell you. So, I wouldn't say this is a good song. It was pretty disappointing. So, 2.5 out of 5 for this one. Um, overall, production, mixing, and execution wise, I think... 30 Seconds to Mars America was meh. It wasn't very good. Um, I would say this is another, is a weak album. And I know their new album, It's the End of the World, but it's a beautiful day coming out September 15th. And that is one of my least, my worst anticipated albums to come out for this year. Because I, I was disappointed with the new singles, like Stuck in. Uh, Life is Beautiful. But yeah, with this album, I mean, 10 of the songs did alright. I, I wouldn't say they are great. And there were some rating deductions for this album, in my personal opinion, that I had to downgrade for this rating. But overall, as an album itself, it's, eh, it's in the middle with me. So if I were to give this album a score, I'd give it a 6 out of 10. It's, eh, it's in the middle with me. I mean, there's good tracks off this album, but when they rely on too much electronics, like with Hail to the Victor, Don Will Rise, and Ryder, that's where the album is at its weakest. So, yeah, 6 out of 10 for 30 Seconds to Mars America. I just wanted to do this album review for you guys for uh, 4th of July. So I hope you guys have a great 4th of July. I wish I could do a live stream for you guys, but I'm going to be uh, going to work soon. So, with that being said, have a great 4th of July, guys, and shoot off as many fireworks as possible just to enjoy your 4th of July, and thanks for watching.